So thanks for joining me in the shop today. Today I've got a, a, a cigar review for you. Today we're doing a couple cigars from the M Bombay Company. Uh, this is Eric. He's actually going to smoke this with me, so he's going to interject his opinions. Although Eric is a mute, so there probably won't be uh, too many uh, vocalizations uh, that'll that'll happen from him. So one or two, one or, one one or two. two. You can speak. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> So today we are actually smoking uh, their Habano Bellicoso. This uh, wrapper is from uh, Ecuador, the binder is Ecuador, and then the fillers are Nicaraguan and uh, Peruvian. Um, I didn't, don't really know much about these people. They contacted me uh, because I was doing so many cigar reviews on YouTube, said, hey, we want you to review uh, a couple of our things. Uh, seemed, seemed nice and, uh, and sent me a couple of cigars. So, Here's the band right here, you can see it just says M Bombay Company. I'm not gonna block all the light right here. It's kind of hard to read with that with that gold on a uh, gold on red. Um, the the band is very, very elaborate. You can see it's about two inches long here. Uh, it's got a peacock on there, uh, an elephant, a lion, and it's uh, very much em embossed to give it a really, really nice texture. Uh, very elaborate. I imagine that they uh, they want you to peel this off before you actually start lighting your cigar. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I'm stubborn. So, uh, I am going to uh, give this a smell. And Eric is also going to smell it too, so don't forget he's going to give give uh, his opinion as well. Yeah, they, they, they intended you to take this off before you do. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's some hay hanging around in the background, but that's why, what, what, what do you smell? I'm not getting much. Not much. Very hay. Very little hay. Yeah, it's. Do you get like a barnyardy smell to yours? No, I'm not really getting much of a smell of mine. Oh. Some hay in the background. It's double banded. What do you know? And there's it. It's M Bombay. Bombay. So. Yeah, like there's almost this. Uh, I feel, like, I feel like there's something else back there, like a, maybe it's just a general general tobacco, I'm, I'm not sure. So, as far as the roll goes, it's actually rolled very cleanly. Uh, I don't have any large veins in, in mine. It's a, It looks like it's rolled in that, uh, that Cuban sandwich style, where you've got those little uh, dips and valleys in there. Um, so it's not perfectly straight, but uh, it's obviously intended. You see it's got this short little, uh, little uh, cute stub of a, a torpedo here to uh, to go with that, that bellicoso, uh, bellicoso name. Um, the smaller band is also uh, very embossed and uh, very detailed as well. So, how was your cigar, Eric? Wrap uh, looks good. I do have one good size vein right there. And that looks pretty. Nice looking stubby tor torpedo. Mm -hmm. Mine actually has a little bit of a, a wrapper break off right here as you can see I, I don't think it's going to cause any issues but I get a lot of hay and just kind of like uh, some uh, greenness here on the cold draw not much uh, not much else nothing else jumps out at me um, it's very very light this is actually rated as a medium to full body yeah. cigar bye Eli bye. thanks for coming by All right. it's actually rated as a medium to full body cigar so uh, I was expecting a little bit, uh, a little bit more here, uh, just kind of for a, a general taste, but I don't taste anything specific. No, um, I think I'm getting the greenness. Yeah, you're know, talking of. It's real light, like there's yeah. no, nothing that that jumps out right away. So we are gonna light these up. There's a little bit of a pepper bite in there, I think. Yes, I'm getting quite a bit of pepper. Is it on your tongue, like tingling on your tongue almost? Yeah. Definite spices. Ooh. Yeah, when I when when I uh, when I first lit it up, it wasn't, and then it and then it uh, started coming through. I, I do want to say that I, I noticed here on the end they had a little bit of a, a wrap around that wrapper, so you uh, so you light it and you get a get a good puff on it on it first. There's lots of pepper, uh, definitely on on the tongue and on the lips. It's funny, like I, it, it's almost like I feel the pepper more on my tongue than than actually 
actually taste it, if that if that even makes any sense. Like, yeah, I'm getting I, the stinging. Yeah, like it's almost like you get like the bite of the of the pepper, but not actually tasting pepper. Like as far as flavors, taste wise, I, I feel like I get more like a more just kind of like a general wood and tobacco. The smell is real nice. It's not it's not real bold in the actual smell that it's a uh, that it's putting out in the air. I don't think. Uh, it's kind of a almost like a, a a general general tobacco with a, an underlying pepper bite. I'm feeling like this one's gonna get a, a lot more com complex as a, as flavors kind of iron out and then come to the surface. Uh, the bite is just different. Never had one. Yeah, it is. This actually reminds me of that Camacho Red, where that that pepper comes out right away. But this this one this one is totally different because it doesn't get you in the back of the throat. It's, yeah. it's not like it's not like a pepper punch, but it's definitely it's definitely there. So we're gonna smoke these to the first third and be right back. So we're about to do the first third, and what are you tasting, Eric? Um, not a whole lot. I'm getting some some woody tones. I'm just not I'm not tasting a whole lot out of this. And we're getting a good, pretty like decent burn. It's got good ash. It's burning white. Really white. I feel like that pepper is gone. Like yeah. it was right there in the beginning and it's just, it's just gone. Like it's real creamy. Yeah. It's got like a really nice creaminess, I feel like. Almost, almost, it almost tastes like there's like a really like dark black like charcoaliness that's just on the exhale as well. Uh, I definitely like, like the flavors. You can see mine is not burning near as well. I've got a pretty nasty overhang. Which, uh, which as you know, I'll let this run until it gets really bad, and then I'll then I'll touch it up. But I always like to see if a if a cigar is gonna is gonna correct itself. So, overall, the draw has just been excellent. I, I mean, as soon as as soon as I snip mine, it's just uh, just the airflow through it has just just been fantastic. The smoke production has been fantastic. We've been playing some uh, super dodgeball here while smoking these and it's been uh it's just been real easy to play and puff and play and puff there's a uh, uh this is definitely a cigar i will say that uh doesn't doesn't have to be babied yet i'm gonna see where mine's gonna go with this uh with this overhang and uh, i guess i gave i guess i gave eric the good one and i i took the bad one so we'll go with that <laughs> we'll go with that so We're going to puff on these a little bit more and be right back with the second third. You have the ball, I'm not going anywhere. But it's so good. Yeah, it's good. I wonder, I mean, it's starting to fade on this right here, so I was more worried about you know, gonna break structural integrity. So I don't know. You are. There's only two buttons. It's not like I gotta hold down three, three triggers and and jump A B at the same time. <laughs> uh. Get out of there. Oh, oh man, you're gonna kill me. You should go. Ugh, come on, guy. Thanks. So through the second third, I'm getting a whole lot of like dark, like chewy wood tones. Is probably the best way to describe it. It's not, mm. it's not, it's not real dark to, to remind me of a Maduro. It's not, it's not real peppery. Um, I'd say it's it's actually a, a pretty easy smoke. Um, it, they definitely didn't use uh, they definitely didn't use any of the, like the real dark, like heavy uh, heavy Nicaraguan uh, fillers in this. Um, I wouldn't call it a medium full. Yeah, like it's not, it's I'm not nearly as, medium. it's not nearly as, uh, it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Yeah, 
not 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 by by what their uh, their paper said. Um, it's rated uh, it's rated a, a medium to full, but I mean it's definitely it's definitely medium, uh, but it, it's it's not a it's not a full in my opinion. You can see my burn right there is it's cleaning up a little bit, so I'm glad I, glad I didn't do a do a touch up on this. The draw is still the draw is still great. Um, mine feels a little hot in my hands, but it's because I, I usually do one one and two puffs at the at the same time, so. Yeah, just real dark, chewy wood tones. What are you getting? I'm saying dark wood. I'm still getting a little bit of the uh, the pepper. Not not as much as it was. Nowhere near as much, but still getting a little bit of the pepper. I think you're right. I think it's mostly on the exhale. Yeah, definitely in the aftertaste. I almost feel like you get like some cocoa on the exhale too. So it still has some of that that creamy. That creamy remnants on the uh, on the exhale as well. It almost it almost seems like most of the flavors, as far as complexity that I'm getting, is actually coming on the exhale and uh, not on the initial puff. Like when I when I take in the initial puff, when I take in the initial puff, there's really not a whole lot there. Um, just the the dark chewy wood, but definitely like as I'm exhaling. Uh, more complexity comes out with that pepper and that creaminess and, and that cocoa, which uh, uh, which is good. We're gonna play a little bit more and get here into this last third, and hopefully we'll pull out pull out the cigar screws because I think that's what that's where this one's going, smoking it all the way down to the end. End. So you're destroying stuff though. <laughs> that's cool. Dang. <laughs> that was uh, intense. I guess this is result. <laughs> this is the result of your. <laughs> is it as crazy fast as it looks? Yeah. So we are just about through uh, the last third of this here M Bomb Bay. Uh, mine kind of got a little bit more of a, of a nasty burn, but uh, overall, I'd say it. Uh, it, it Went pretty bad as you saw, but then uh, straight, straightened out a bit. I would say the the burn overall hasn't been hasn't been too bad. Nothing that I would personally complain about for a, for a cigar that I bought. And I'm going to use my fancy cigar screw here since Eric is almost done. I just got done using mine. You can see I smoked it all the way down. There's not really much left. It's impossible to hit. It was good, good enough for me to smoke this far down. But. I'm done with I like it. the flavors in, in general. Like right now, they've just kind of turned to more of a, or just a, a dark, uh, a dark tobacco, and uh, nothing, nothing really else. Felt like all the complexity was there in the first third, and it just kind of mellowed out more as the uh, as as it's gone through. Still, still, uh, definitely good taste. Um, so, I'll definitely smoke this all the way down to the end. And last opinions. It was good. I uh, definitely really spicy, spicy on the XL at the beginning. Would you buy this cigar for six bucks? For six, definitely. I would, would try it again for six. Would you buy it for ten bucks? Mm, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't feel like it was. A, it was a ten dollars cigar. No, I didn't have the the flavor that I would prefer for a ten dollars cigar. It did burn nice, nice draw. And it had a really nice ash. Nice yeah. ash and nice, yeah. nice draw. Nice, nice sturdy ash. Yours was what two inches at least. Yeah. Right? It, was, it, was, it was a good cigar. So, if this cigar were your preferred style, would you pay ten dollars for it? Mm, possibly not. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't feel like it's a dollar cigar. It's like it's definitely, definitely a five dollar cigar, but I think like it, it would top out at like six fifty seven. Like that would be like yeah. it, it. I mean, I guess if it was a larger, larger size, um, because it is a good cigar, I could definitely see uh, paying paying seven seven dollars for it. I would say that that would be a good one. So, as always, if you're not there already, brotherspinetobacco.com. Uh, thanks for watching the video. There's always more to come. We've got a, uh, another cigar event happening tomorrow night where we're going to be uh, sampling, uh, sampling the, the private labels. And as always, thank you for watching. Is that, is that a peace sign? Is, is that what? what that is? Peace, peace <laughs> to the world, Eric.